Creating secondary footage is one way you can use Canva for your YouTube channel. You're going to learn a technique that will give you short B-roll clips using photos, videos, and text. Comment why you think this would increase your video audience retention, especially if you are just sitting in front of the camera talking. You will need a video document type for your project. This will give you the standard 16 to 9 aspect ratio for your video. But if you are creating YouTube Shorts, choose the mobile video version instead. Canva offers templates, but today let's create a blank design since we are wanting to make our own B-roll footage. Step 1 is to create a background. Look in your Elements tab and type in the word Beige. Go to the photo section. Canva Quick Tip. If you have a free account, you can filter it down to free so you only see the free images. It may take you a little bit to figure out the background image you want, but we will choose this particular image called Sand Dune Ripples. Reduce the transparency of the image before you set it as your background. This trick is especially helpful if you change your mind about your background later. You can figure out what works for you, but for this one, I'm going to use 30%. Right click and set image as background. You can play around with the colors of the background to see how it impacts your image. However, I'm gonna leave this one as white. The next step is that you're gonna need a grid to hold a video. If you filtered down to free in the previous step, you will need to clear that out before typing in grid in the search box. Go back to the all tab to find the one solid grid. Tap it and it will size correctly onto your design. Go ahead and set the transparency of your grid. I will start off with 18% and adjust it later on if necessary once the video is in place. For this particular design, I found this video by typing in Spider Anxiety in the Elements tab and filtering it down to free. I thought this footage would be perfect for the phrase that I'll be using with this secondary clip. Place this video into the grid. You will notice that it automatically reduced the transparency once it went into the placeholder. B-roll clips are generally short, so we are going to reduce the time of this clip to 3.1 seconds. But you can also download it as a longer clip and slice it up in your video editor too. Step 3 is to add the text. Type T on your keyboard to get a text box to come up. Type in the phrase for your video. For this one, I'm going to use the phrase, give your character a fear. You can customize your text with this panel up here, but you do want to make it so that people can read it easily on a phone. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for learning with the Canva Classroom. I'd love to know how long you've been subscribed to the channel. The next step is to give your text and video some animation. I'm not going to step through each animation style today, but if you would like a tutorial about animation, comment below. Click the video for the top panel to show up and select the word animate. I chose the photo zoom animation for this particular clip because I think it adds a dramatic flare. But feel free to try different animation options to see what you think. Next up, it's time for text animation. Click on your text so the text panel appears. Select the word animate. I chose the fade animation because it is one that is available for free for Canva members. You can choose whether it fades both on enter or on exit. Canva Pro members even have the ability to have a little more control by altering the speed 
and writing style of Fade. I love this feature. There is a play button at the top so we can get a generalized idea of how this is looking before we download it. Next up, we need to download the clip for the main video. Click on Share, Download. You will select MP4 as the file type. Choose the page of your video clip and click Download. Let's look to see how that looks by itself. Before I move on to the final note, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to create more lessons like this one. The next step will vary depending on which video editor you use, but in general, you will put the clip into your video on a video track that is above your primary video track so that the audio of your primary video, the A roll, is heard, but the B roll clip is seen. You may wish to resize the clip, add some additional visual effects from your video editor, or even include some sound effects from YouTube Audio Library or wherever you get your sound effects. Did you know that you can do a lot more for your YouTube channel than just B roll or thumbnails? Check out this tutorial with 25 different ways. If it's not on your screen to click on, then look in the description as I always leave related videos there. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye!